Hi there everyone, welcome back to the Project Corner. It's December now, so there is some administrative work that needs to be done. I'm going to guide you through a best practice in regards to creating time reporting periods. Now, for those of you who don't know what time reporting periods are, these are the sections in time that people can write their time on using timesheets. So this is a project server or project online video. Let's head over to my project online environment. Let's head over to the administrative homepage where there's a lot that can be done. One of the things that we need to do is we need to create the new time reporting periods for next year. So 2019 is coming up and seeing as this is YouTube, you can view this later, obviously. So maybe 2020 is coming up or maybe 2025. So let's head over to the time reporting periods. Normally, right out of the box, Microsoft gives you the option to start time reporting periods from the start of the year, giving you 52 weeks or 52 instances of time. And that can be seen here. It also gives you a nice next sequence number, which is obviously one because we're starting. But what would happen if we created a new version where I say this is okay, well, this is 2019 and I create WK and a space and we'll start with the number one. Now this will create something that isn't very useful. Not very useful in reporting situations. What this will create is a uh, sequence of numbers that won't look very cool in a Power BI report. And to show you what it will create, I've drawn up a, a situation in Excel where what you expect to create and what you would expect to see in uh, project reports is week, uh, week one, week two, week three, week four. But what will you actually get Microsoft Project and the Power BI and Excel don't know that week one and week 10 are actually nine weeks apart. Where it will see the number one and it will, it will sort it based on text instead of based on time. So what we actually should create is a situation where the first nine numbers are preceded by a zero and then creating the other report periods just without the zero. That will create 52 time periods that are easily managed within reports. Let's head over back to the administrative section. Time reporting periods. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to change the 52 to nine. I will start at the beginning of 2019. So. January 2019 will start on a Tuesday. So I'll start it on the last year, day of the year. And I'll create 2019 WK. And I'll start with a zero. Then the next subsequent number will be one and it will be pasted next to the zero. So I'll create nine subsequent numbers but it looks like this. So I'll create the bulk. And as soon as that's loaded, we'll have a nice first set of weeks. Now to continue this, we would change these numbers because now what we see happening is here, the sample changes to 2019 WK 010 which is actually not what we wanted. We wanted to have the 10 here so that we have subsequent numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, instead of zero, 10. So let's continue and create the bulk for another 43, 43 time periods because 43 plus nine is 52. So let's create that bulk. And as soon as that's finished loading, we will have a nice overview of our next year. 
So let's zoom in on that. Very, yes. My screen started freezing. It's actually, well, this year might be one of those years that have 53 uh, weeks. So let's create just one other one, just for the heck of it. And once that's loaded, we have our full year all wrapped up and my screen started freezing so we have our awful year with time sheeting joy and that's the end for uh, the administrative work for 2019 creating new time reporting periods now keep in mind you do want to create a situation where it's easy to report on where there is a subsequent sorting that you would expect and not the situation where you have 1, 10, 11 and 2, 20, 21, 3, 30, 31, all that stuff. And that's it for creating time reporting periods. It's a short video. It's a very useful video if you're an administrator. If you aren't the administrator, but you saw this video, please send it our way. Uh, that way we have nice reports to look forward to in 2019. If you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll see you in two weeks.